Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Today I'm going to do a quick flip through of an older Jade Summer book. This came out in 2017. This is the Fantasy Coloring Adventure by Jade Summer. Now, this one is still available. I know there are some that have been out for a while that are no longer available on Amazon or at all, which is a shame because there are ones I want that I still haven't been able to get. Um, so I'm actually trying now physically to buy the new ones as they come out, if they're ones I want straight away and the older ones that I want before they go out of print. Because once they go out of print, they don't print anymore, they won't be anymore. So for instance, Ancient Egypt's no longer available, I don't think. Edgar Allan Poe's no longer available. I've got Ancient Egypt, but I'm going to have colours in it. But I wanted Edgar Allan Poe, I can't get that one now. And I'm gutted because I really wanted it. So let's have a look at this one. It's got the usual bump in the middle, 2017, and starts as usual with the cover page, which is the doors to the Fantasy Kingdom. I like this one, it's very detailed. It's one of the more detailed books. We've got Cinderella in a carriage. And then we've got the little mermaid. Or a mermaid. We've got a witch. I quite like that witch. I think that's a great picture. And then we've got a fairy um, picking flowers. That's a hell of a pattern. That's quite a, that's very fishy. <laughs> that one looks like Sleeping Beauty's castle. I'm not sure. But hey, I like the picture. Oh, it's the troll under the bridge. <laughs> it took me a while to realise what it is. And then we've got a unicorn. A wizard. I like that one as well. I love what witches and wizards and ones like that. So I don't know how well this is showing because of the, the amount of detail. I hope it's showing up all right for you. Oh, this is another one of those mad patterns. This is a load of mermaids um, swimming. They're doing their synchronised swimming in that picture. That's a uh, Chinese dragon with a thing on it. Now that to me looks like Three Little Pigs Houses and The Wolf. But I could be wrong. It's a nice picture anyway. We've got an octopus. That's a cool one. Oh, Prince and Princess dancing. Don't know which one. Could be any of them. They're all pretty much much of a muchness. Uh, an owl. A steampunk owl. Cool. Lots of different patterns with a gate or a lock in the middle. Nice patterns. I like the patterns. Good for gel pens, fine liners, markers. A couple of ships and a castle. A tree. See how detailed they are. But they are not complicated detailed, if, that, if you know what I mean. I love this one with the tortoise with the house on his back. It's so cute. Um, they're riding beetles. They're jousting on beetles. He's got a mushroom and he's got a strawberry. Okay. It's a steampunk Ewok clock. I mean, the art is beautiful. To the drawing so if you want this one get it quickly because who knows how long it's still going to be available for fairy and the dragonflies that's quite a nice one now this is for next next year's um st patrick's day picture is the sleeping leprechaun with his pot of gold and his rainbow so we'll see that one for next year Cool. That's sweet, she's sleeping in a little hammock. See what I mean, they're just, this is stunning fantasy artworks that are simple but lovely to colour as well. Prince on his horse. Balloons. Some dragons, that's actually quite nice. 
A couple of ogres having a fight. Ooh, more mermaids. That's going to be a good one to do. I've probably got enough colouring pages to last me the rest of my life. I've never yet completed a book. I've been colouring like four years, I think, and I've not completed a book yet. I am working on it though, but it'll be a pattern book first. I like this one. The King and Queen, that's quite a nice one as well. All the patterns, but yeah, that's going to be a good one to do. And then, oh, look at that, an underwater castle with a mermaid. It's Ariel. Some more there. So uh, that's all in this 40 of those. And um, that's one of the very few Jade Summer books that doesn't have duplicate pictures. There's not many of those. So that's Fantasy Colour Adventure from Jade Summer. As I say in all these videos, if you want to see me colour from this book, leave a comment down below and I'll put it on my list of books that I'm going to colour from on camera. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!